In the realm of cinema, Delphine Seyrig stands as a formidable figure, leaving an indelible mark on the industry with her nuanced performances and enduring screen presence. Whether through the prism of personal influence or as a symbol of cinematic excellence, Seyrig's impact extends far beyond the frames of the silver screen. As we delve into the essence of this iconic actress, two fundamental questions arise. How has Delphine Seyrig, through her craft, inspired and impacted the lives of those touched by her work? And what are the enduring qualities that render her a timeless symbol within the annals of the film industry? Before we unveil the layers of Seyrig's cinematic legacy, let's consider these questions as gateways into a journey through the life and career of an actress whose contributions continue to resonate. Now, let the spotlight shine on the enigmatic Delphine Seyrig as we explore some fascinating facets of her life. Delphine Seyrig, born in Beirut in 1932, embarked on her acting career in the 1950s and swiftly became known for her ability to seamlessly embody diverse roles. Notably, her collaboration with director Elaine Rusnais in films like Last Year at Marion Bad showcased her prowess in conveying complex emotions with subtle grace. Seyrig's filmography reflects a deliberate choice of roles that challenge societal norms, contributing to her reputation as a trailblazer in French cinema. Amidst the array of characters she portrayed, Seyrig's enduring qualities as an actress lie in her ability to transcend temporal boundaries. Her performances, characterized by a rare authenticity, navigate the complexities of human relationships, making her a relatable figure across generations. It's this timeless quality that cements Seyrig's status as an everlasting symbol within the tapestry of the film industry. Now, let's turn the lens toward you. What cherished memory or personal experience do you hold in relation to Delphine Seyrig? We invite you to share your stories and reflections in the comments below, creating a collective celebration of this classic Hollywood actor. Delphine Seyrig's legacy extends far beyond the screen, resonating with individuals whose lives have been touched by her artistry. As we explore the depths of her influence, remember that the narrative isn't complete without your voice. Share your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this classic Hollywood actor in the comments below. Let's weave a tapestry of collective appreciation for an artist whose impact spans generations. Delphine Seyrig, despite being referred to by Marguerite Duras as a famous stranger, achieved a distinctive connection with the renowned fashion house Chanel. Her collaboration with the stylist began with the design of costumes for the film last year at Marienbad. This partnership not only shaped Seyrig's on-screen image, but also established a lasting bond between the actress and the fashion icon. In the documentary Delphine Seyrig, Portrait Dune Kant, Michael Lonsdale shares a poignant anecdote about the actress. Seyrig once gifted him a succulent plant that bloomed every two years. Remarkably, the plant thrived for about 15 years, but ceased to flourish after Seyrig's demise. This personal story offers a glimpse into Seyrig's thoughtfulness and the enduring impact she had on those around her. Delphine Seyrig's understated fame and her penchant for Chanel attire reveal a multifaceted personality that transcends the silver screen. The enduring symbolism of the succulent plant in Lonsdale's recollection echoes Seyrig's lasting influence, both on and off the set. Delphine Seyrig's legacy extends beyond the silver screen, marked by intriguing facets of her life. One notable choice she made pertains to her final resting place. In a symbolic decision, she opted to be buried against the wall of the Saint-Tyre du Montparnasse in Paris. This echoes a unique connection she shared with the world of theater, reminiscent of Gaston Beatty's access to his idol's tomb through the theater's wall. In the early 60 seconds, Seyrig played a pivotal role in bridging the realms of French and American theater. She introduced her mentor, Lee Strasberg, to the French theater scene with the aspiration of establishing a method acting workshop in Paris. This endeavor reflected her commitment to fostering cross-cultural artistic exchanges. In the twilight of her career, Seyrig expressed a compelling artistic ambition. Shortly before her passing, she approached Chantal Ackerman, a frequent collaborator, with the idea of directing a stage production of a streetcar named Desire. Seyrig envisioned herself as Blodge, yet the project remained unrealized due to Ackerman's unavailability. Ackerman, unaware of Seyrig's illness, later regretted not pursuing the venture. This unfulfilled aspiration adds a poignant layer to Seyrig's artistic journey. 
Delphine Seyrig's choices, from her burial site to her endeavors in theater, provide a nuanced understanding of the actress' life beyond the cinematic frame. Each decision reflects her dedication to art and a desire to leave a lasting impact on the creative realms she cherished. Delphine Seyrig, celebrated actress of the silver screen, left an indelible mark on the cultural landscape, extending beyond her cinematic achievements. Renowned for her legendary feasts at her place Des Vosges apartment, she turned it into the most coveted nightclub in Paris, a sentiment echoed by Jean-Pierre Mariel. In his autobiography Disorder, Jean-Claude Carrier humorously revealed that his friend unwittingly named his daughter Delphine after Sarig, the enchanting figure from a post-war provincial college. This amusing revelation adds a charming layer to Sarig's influence on unsuspecting lives. While she graced iconic films, Seyrig herself pointed to her role as Countess Bathory in Daughters of Darkness as her career favorite. This choice unveils her affinity for roles that transcended conventional expectations, showcasing her dedication to challenging and unconventional storytelling. Delphine Seyrig's impact reverberates not just through her on-screen presence, but through the vibrant gatherings at her apartment and the unexpected inspirations she unknowingly bestowed upon others. In exploring these facets, we unravel the actress' rich tapestry, blending the glamour of her cinematic journey with the allure of her off-screen charisma. Delphine Seyrig's story is one of enchantment, both on and off the celluloid, leaving an enduring legacy that transcends the boundaries of traditional stardom. Delphine Seyrig, a versatile actress known for her impactful choices both on and off the screen, was a staunch advocate for women's rights. She boldly signed the Manifesto of the 343, lending her voice to the call for the legalization of abortion in France. This courageous act reflected Seyrig's commitment to social change and her willingness to use her influence for a cause she believed in. Beyond her advocacy, Seyrig held a nuanced perspective on the portrayal of women in cinema. In a candid critique, she took aim at Ingmar Bergman's films, expressing dissatisfaction with their portrayal of female relationships. Seyrig, contrasting them with the works of Henrik Ibsen, admired the latter for offering more authentic depictions of women. This critical stance showcases Seyrig's discerning eye and her dedication to promoting realistic portrayals of female characters in the world of cinema. While her advocacy and critical viewpoints reveal a strong social conscience, Seyrig also admired the iconic Marilyn Monroe. Her admiration extended beyond Monroe's acting prowess to appreciate the star's patience in posing for Hollywood photographers. This nuanced appreciation of Monroe provides a glimpse into Seyrig's multifaceted interests, blending a respect for social causes with a fascination for Hollywood glamour. Delphine Seyrig's legacy is not just confined to her cinematic achievements, but also encompasses her role as a vocal advocate for women's rights and her discerning critique of cinematic portrayals. Her multifaceted interests and influences add depth to the narrative of an actress who transcended traditional stardom, leaving an enduring impact on the cultural landscape. As the curtains gracefully fall on our journey through the illustrious career of actress Delphine Seyrig, it's time for you to take center stage. Delphine's performances have left an indelible mark on the canvas of cinema, weaving tales that resonate with the essence of the human experience. As you reflect on the silver screen moments etched in time by Seyrig, we invite you to share the threads of connection you've woven with her art. Perhaps it's the nuanced emotion she brought to a particular role, or the profound impact of her storytelling that lingers in the corridors of your memory. In this shared space of cinephilia, let your thoughts echo and reverberate. What is it about Delphine Seyrig's performances that strike a chord within you? Is it the timeless elegance, the powerful expressions, or the subtle dance between reality and fiction in her portrayals? As we collectively unravel the tapestry of Seyrig's cinematic legacy, your voice becomes a vital stitch. Share your cherished memories, your reflections, and the whispers of inspiration her work has breathed into your own narrative. Delphine Seyrig's presence transcends the frames, and your musings contribute to the ongoing dialogue of appreciation for her artistry. Let this be a celebration of the profound connection forged between performer and spectator, and homage to the enduring magic of storytelling. In closing, we extend our heartfelt gratitude for your time and the richness you bring to this shared exploration of Delphine Seyrig's brilliance.
Your presence in this narrative is as significant as the characters she brought to life. Thank you for being part of this cinematic odyssey, where the spotlight shines not only on the silver screen, but also on the collective memories we create around it. Until the next act unfolds, remember, every story told is a testament to the beauty of the human experience.